guys. Today I want to talk about how to manifest peace. If you followed the instructions from my first videos, then you're already on it. You're producing an enjoyable and peaceful environment around yourself. Peace at the same time is the most complicated concept and the simplest one also. It is complicated because yes, we are over 7 billion people on this planet, allegedly, and you can only control one of them. It's simple because if everybody would be taking care of their own peace of mind, everybody would be peaceful. Therefore, it would be the end of all fights, right? Easy, isn't it? I mean, it's the most logical idea ever. Be the peace you want to have. Join the club one after the other and we'll achieve peace one day. Now let's get to the hard stuff because now you really have to do some hard work and if you're not ready for working your ass off then you probably should switch off this video immediately and come back to it at any other moment. Think about law number five, rhythm. If you're not in the flow right now, don't force yourself. Just forgive yourself and well, <laughs> this is actually the task. Forgiving yourself and others. So, forgiveness. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself again. Because maybe there is someone in your life who you think is impossible to forgive. And I have been thinking something like that for over 10 years of my life. For six years I was searching for revenge. And for four years I was looking for forgiveness and couldn't find it because I was guided by a big error in reasoning. What was so wrong about my thinking? Uh, the expectations. <laughs> I expected apologies and reparation. Phrases I kept repeating in my mind were, how can I forgive what no one ever asked to be forgiven? And how can I pardon something that people don't even know until this day they did wrong? I always faced lots of consent from people I have spoken to. Everybody seems to be quite familiar with this passive attitude towards reconciliation. We think about it in schemes of victim and offenders. If an offender hurts a victim, he has to atone for it. But forgiveness isn't about the offender or what they did at all. To forgive is active. The term giving is the biggest part in it. So no one else is acting but the person injured. I mean I live my life. I am responsible for how I feel and what I achieve. I, um, and if I refuse someone forgiveness, I actually withdraw myself from absolution because I'll be carrying those feelings with me. I will be confronted with distrust, anxieties. I will be reminded about my bad memories constantly for not letting them go. So in my case, it was yoga and meditating. Most of all, meditation for healing my heart chakra. Your heart is a data bank and everything gets stored. All your emotional experiences are written down in your body and your heart is like a big data bank. Every feeling you haven't dealt with becomes a block somewhere in your body and causes quite some stress for your heart, soul, mind and all your other organs. No one else will struggle with your feelings besides yourself. Thus, if you forgive someone, you are doing it for yourself. You forgive to heal and to defragment your database and change your own emotions. Get active everybody. Don't let anybody be a bruise on your heart. Forgive yourself and everybody else. Free yourself from guilt and any feeling of lack. Don't expect anyone else to make up for something. Just let go. This is the key to peace. Forgive yourself and others. Always approach us with a listening and loving heart. Install peace, balance and harmony all around yourself. 
Think of yourself as being the center of love and forgiveness. Be the relavution. Bam! You may be asking about justice now, because I know it seems quite unfair to be held responsible for what other people did on you. There are two tricks to this. So the first trick is sort of the hardware part about it, um, comprehensible, reasonable for everybody else from a materialistic point of view, because you will be becoming a role model for people around you. This is how they start to change their own behavior, because they see trick number two playing out in your life, the software part to it. This is karma. Or law number six, cause and effect. You will be surprised by the outcome. It may be taking a little while, depending on how you lived your life before and all of those past lives. We'll get to that in a later video. <laughs> So it may be taken a while until you have even out your karma. However, you will be rewarded after a while. Stuff is just magically going to start happening to you. Your wishes will be fulfilling themselves easily. Your everyday life will become lighter and lighter and brighter and you will be receiving so much love, not even from your loved ones, from strangers on the streets. You will be sensing oneness and unity more and more. You will be feeling peace after a while and you will be finding a totally new understanding about the concept of peace itself. Yeah, That is a given, I promise, fellow hearts. Every exploration starts with a new route, right? Try it out! First, make yourself comfortable, fellow hearts, and never be scared.